So who are your partners? So we're, we're uh, initially, I guess the, the original version of, of, of Endivo, I should mention, um, we, we published some open source code that was actually adopted uh, by Microsoft. We worked with them a little bit, and, and the current product, Health Vault, that they produce is actually based on Endivo open source code. Um, additionally, we partnered with uh, the Dacia, the Dacia con Consortium of Large Employers uh, in order to produce, give Indivo out to their employees. Um, and that consortium includes uh, companies like AT&T, Walmart, and Intel, among others. Um, in our current version of Indivo X, we are, we're forming a few interesting partnerships. Uh, we actually just today um, signed an, an MOU with Orange Labs, which is a, a division of the Orange Telecom Company that's uh, interested in, in developing health-related applications. Um, and so we'll be working with them. They've already done some work with, with our code, doing, doing really interesting things, connecting Indivo up with some of their, they have an Indo, uh, a Continua device connector, they call it, which, which hooks in with some, some devices. And uh, they've been doing great stuff with that. We're also, we've been doing some collaboration with uh, the MIT New Media Lab, uh, which has a, a product called Collaborithm, which is, is backed on Indivo and is uh, intended to sort of provide a very comprehensive, uh, almost a, a treatment ecosystem for individual patients where the, all the devices in their house are smart, they communicate with the system. There's telecommunication to, to interface with doctors. Um, they move the whole interface into the doctor's office as well, and all of it's powered by Indivo. So it's a, it's a great uh, great demonstration of the power of the Indivo API. Um, let's see what else. We're partnered with a, a social network uh, called Two Diabetes, which is for people helping manage their, their diabetes conditions. Um, and that's a really interesting project because it's enabling us to do some research uh, to ask questions along the lines of what exactly does it mean for a system like a personally controlled health record um, to get put into the context of this rapidly burgeoning social world that we have emerging on the web. Um, and, and that's been really interesting. And we've also been able to give some data back to the, to the users of that social network to tell them about how they're managing their diabetes habits, et cetera, and that's great. Um, and then finally, I guess we're, we're partnered with, with Children's Hospital Boston itself. Um, where we're deployed, and we talked about that, the My Children's Portal a little bit um, previously. So there's, we have over 2,000 patients' accounts who log in and, and view their data. If you're getting into social networking, how do you deal with the privacy issues? Um, they're big. Uh, this is absolutely an open research question. Um, and in fact, a lot of the work we're doing now uh, has to do with you know, how willing patients are to share their data in, in social contests, et cetera. Um, we also do a lot of work on the end of a product itself to make sure that, that it's highly secure and, and data doesn't get div given away um, without patient consent. So. so are you at a stage where you can say there seems to be momentum that this either Indivo or the SHARP standard will become a standard? I would say so. I, th I think so. We, we were, we're developing a, a lot of interesting partnerships. Um, the community is getting more and more engaged as, as Indivo becomes more of a mature product. And I think um, with the right set of compelling apps, uh, Indivo is in a place where it could really take off. And I want to mention that Daniel is going to be at the open source convention that O'Reilly is holding in uh, July of this year. And he'll be presenting Indivo there and talking more about these topics.